Hey there everybody, Pop on Top here. Welcome back to some more Fallout 4 mods. In today's mod, we have the A-10 closed air support, where you call it an A-10 Warthog, which is like a big old bomber of some variety, I suppose. I don't really know these things. It's like a Call of Duty kill streak, though, okay? Like for simple people, that's just, that's blowing up in the background too. But it's gonna go and then just kill a bunch of things and then fly away. But to get this, you have to go to a new location on the map. We're here at the abandoned lab, which is right here by the edge of the glowing sea, the scrap palace. Um, the Robotics Pioneer Park, a little bit north of Vault 95. In the, in the very southern section of the map, if you guys don't know where the Glowing Sea is. You probably know where the Glowing Sea is by now, if you're watching the video. So, oh, it's right here. It's very hard to find. Oh, that car's blowing up. That's fine, we went in, we went in time. We're not going to get blown up. Okay, this is very institute-y. Hello? I'm like, concerned? I mean, that's an Institute scientist, clearly. I mean, he's at an Institute jumper on if they were applying lore implications here. Is there anything on the terminal, like some backstory or something to read? Entry 1. I may have been exiled from the Institute for my experiments on human subjects, but I'll be damned if I stop now. I'm so close to a breakthrough in human synthetic hybrid technology that I can almost taste it. Success. Today marked a triumph in human history. I succeeded in transferring a human brain into a military fighter. Okay. So it's literally a human brain inside of a jet. Okay. <laughs> Infusing it with synthetic technology and reprogramming it with my own prototype AI. This hybrid, aptly named Ray, is capable of teleportation without the need of a stationary transmitter. I'll become a god in the scientific community. My foolish former colleagues will regret my exile. I now know how to create it because I just read it. <laughs> I have constructed several beacons. They should activate Ray and relay my location to him in case I run through trouble while doing field studies in the Commonwealth. For future reference, the materials used are a circuit board, adhesive, aluminum, circuitry, fiberglass, and nuclear material. I'm going to die. Ray may have saved me from the various monstrosities this world has to offer, but radiation poisoning wasn't one of them. Please, whoever stumbles upon this place after I'm gone, don't let Ray just rot away in here. Okay, so you specifically want me to craft your thing. So, you know, that sucks. Scientist man. Um, this is Ray, I suppose. Which is a gigantic bomber. This is not what an A-10 Warthog looks like, from my understanding of what an A-10 Warthog is. But, you know, that's fine. I mean, I don't even know if that's what's going to look like when we call it in or whatever. They got medics. You just, like, popping some medics, dude, when you were dying. That's not that's not really good. Um, <laughs> that's not really going to save you. I'm just checking around to see if there's anything else. I guess there's uh, there's a bunch of materials here to craft all the things. So they give you, like, one of each thing. Is there an actual? Because you need, like, a, I believe a chemistry station to craft this. I do not see one in here, but I wanted to check it real quick. So I guess I'll see you guys in a little bit when I get to my chemistry station. And we'll craft the targeting device that will allow us to call this thing in. Alright everybody, so we are here at my chemistry station. We got the A-10 equipment section here now. So, a f this is a flare for the A-10 laser jetter. This is actually a weapon. You do need science too and all the materials it said. But they did give you those. And then we have cartridges for it, which also are fairly expensive. They require those military grade circuit boards. So, you know, not just like actual raw materials that you could just kind of get from whatever. You can get nuclear material, whatever, fiberglass, circuitry, aluminum. But the military grade circuit boards are actually going to be quite rare. Um, so we should have the weapon now, though. I suppose we could just call it in one time raw, right? And just see what it looked like. Not call it in on anything in particular. We're not testing its effectiveness yet. It looks like a laser pistol. But we can just aim it and then... Is that gonna... Okay, so that... Bogies, bogies locked. Gonna call it... I'm not sure which direction it's gonna come from. Oh, above me. I couldn't even see it as it rained shit down. There it is, though. It's so far away when it shoots that shit. I, I mean, I, I imagine that's like real life, right? Because like real life, just like, and you don't even know where it's at yet, and then it flies by, like, oh, I killed you all. So that's pretty crazy. We do have a decent amount of ammo too. We have 44 here. So obviously, my goal is now is to go and literally kill everything with this, <laughs> or like lots of things, and have a good time with it. So I'll see you when I find some cool stuff to murder with it. All right, everybody, we are here at Mercwater Construction Site. I just wanted to get a big old target. So I've currently marked, because it's got a recon scope, obviously, on this type of laser designated weapon, the big old Mirelet Queen, which is one of the toughest enemies in the game. Obviously, maybe not the toughest. You can get some behemoths and stuff, but those are a little bit more hard to find. This is like a guaranteed spawn here. So I figured this would be a good opportunity to test out the Warthogs or the A-10's effectiveness. So if I just shoot that with it, right on it. It shoots it like a laser, so I wonder if it like locks particularly on the target. Yeah, it does. Holy shit. Oh, I like that noise though. 
That is amazing. That is a good time. I mean, this it's obviously extremely overpowered, right? I mean, it's not the cheapest ammo to craft in the whole world, but just to take down... Like, that that my other queen had no possible clue that I was there, right? Just like... But obviously you can't use it in interiors and stuff. It is on standby. Is what it says here. So that's the thing. So it does have a cooldown period, but I'm not sure if it actually does. Like, will it shoot again? This is flight lead. Commencing sweep. It just says commencing sweep. It says it's on standby. Like, like so I don't know if the cooldown period is just really short there, but obviously you can just kind of rein it in. And just keep going. Like, I want to see how quick it is. Was this thing on standby means I can call it in again? Is that So that's what it's saying. So there's, like, obviously I can't immediately call in another one right now. But as soon as it says it's ready again, there'll be a lesson in the upper left. You can't see that. I'll tell you when it shows up because I got my webcam in the way. Hello, everybody. You can see my face. Um, so it doesn't say it yet. It still isn't. It takes a little bit. So like maybe like the tiniest bit cooldown. But you can, hear, you can even hear the words. right? So you don't even have to. When it starts talking like that, it can shoot again. So I guess I could just go. And then it will rain in another airstrike. And it comes in fairly quick, right? Because like there's like Minutemen artillery and stuff like that. That's similar in the base game. But this just, and it just it does way more damage it seems, and it's really really effective. It's something fun to mess around with. This is a really tiny mod too, because it's not. I don't think it's using too much outside resources and stuff. Obviously, the game is trying to explain it like an institute scientist came up with this. I don't know if that's. I mean, you tried, you tried to make it lore friendly and stuff, and it you know it depends on what kind of justifications you can come up with in your head for why this stuff exists. Maybe you can find it not lore friendly. Ripple. But I just find it fun, and I am probably going to airstrike some more stuff, just because I think that's a good time. I think you guys should too, because I think it's a lot of fun, and I think you'll have a lot of fun with it too. And if you are interested in checking out this mod for yourselves, make sure you check out the top link in the description. There'll be linked to the Bethesda on the page or the Nexus mod page, or wherever you can find this mod for yourselves. If you guys have enjoyed the video, I'd greatly appreciate a like rating down below. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe, that way you can check out more videos from me. And pretty much other than that, you guys have a good rest of your day, or whatever it may be, and I will see you in the next episode.